Welcome to my channel, Sunshine Shoulders. I'm Calvin. Thank you so much for stopping by again today. Stop paying a hundred dollars for a cup of coffee that only costs a dollar. I wanted to talk about that today. We had another victim over here. Pay for play is here to stay, guys. It's been around for a long, long time. And just because I'm talking about it, it's not going to change anything. So don't take it out on me. The problem is we're overpaying. We've taken the unspoken agreement and we ripped it up into a million pieces. We got to stop that. We're overvaluing the women. We're undervaluing ourselves. Let me give you an example of paying $100 for a cup of coffee that only costs a dollar. Subscriber man, he comes over here for three days. The only reason he comes here is because he knows that he has to see the woman in order to apply for the visa. So he comes over here, she rocks his world, whatever she did. So he goes back, he starts the visa. And immediately starts sending this woman 40,000 pesos per month. Now, I don't care what she did to him in those three days. It's not worth 40,000 per month. That's a very, very good career over here in the Philippines. Let alone you're just going to give it to her for doing nothing. Well, fortunately for him, the woman was dealing with a Japanese guy too. The Japanese guy was paying the young lady 30000 per month. So altogether, she was getting paid 70000 pesos per month just for being a girlfriend over here. It got found out because her best friend was jealous and told the American guy, says, hey, she's already engaged to a Japanese guy. So he stopped the visa, and I guess he stopped sending the money. I, I hope he did. You know, there's just so many stories like this, guys. I'm just telling you that you don't have to do that over here. But we're bringing our Western spending habits here, and it's being translated into pesos, and it's not a good idea. How many times do I hear guys saying all the time, yeah, I took the woman out, man. I didn't spend no more than $30. You know, so that's about 1,600 pesos for dinner, right? In his mind, it's only $30. Over here, sixteen hundred dollars. I mean, sixteen hundred pesos to take a woman out to dinner is a lot of money. Now I'm talking about the women that we date over here, the ones who are on these dating sites. Okay, trust me, a lot of them aren't really poor. They're just broke. They don't have a pot to piss in or a window to throw it out. We've got the pot and we've got the window. What they don't have in money, they have in a lot of other things, a lot of assets, you know, intelligence, et cetera, et cetera, right? But the fact is, we're still overspending. We're overpaying. And a smart guy would do it something like this. He would say, okay, first of all, he'd get an appraisal. Just like, okay, when I bought my first house over in America, they wanted like 129000 for the house, right? That's what for sale. But before the bank would even talk to me, I had to get an appraisal. So they have an appraiser go over there and he does everything. He looks at the house from top to bottom. He comes back to the bank and says, yeah, it's only worth 114. Well, that's what they loan. That's, that's how much they loan me on the house. It's the same thing we have to do over here, guys. We have to come over here and do an appraisal. You have to see where the woman's coming from, her background, her living standards, her lifestyle, before you just start plunking down dollars like we do. So back to the smart guy. Here's what he'll do. He's done his appraisal. Okay. He's looked at it from top to bottom. So he says, okay, I'm going to come over here. I'm going to stay. I'm going to give me a nice apartment, a condominium, furnish it nice, get a nice motorcycle. We're going to eat nice every single day. What woman would not be happy with that? Yeah, he may have to spend a few pesos, you know, on her daily needs. But he didn't spend $100 for the cup of coffee that only costs a dollar. He did it the right way. He built a life around himself. 
and stuck the woman down in the middle of it. Now, all that goes out the window when we're talking about if you're married, if you have children. You know, even though I've got a child with Merlin, we've been together almost one on five years. I didn't pay a hundred dollars for a cup of coffee that costs a dollar. And a lot of guys think I did, but I didn't. Okay. We got a child together and I'm not making excuses. Could I have spent less than I did over here? Yeah, but you got to realize I'm building the life around me. I'm not going to live in a cool bowl over here. And that's what I would say to you. It's not about mistreating anybody. It's just about overpaying. It's about overspending. That you have to stop doing that. It doesn't take that much. Y'all heard the story that I told you about the guy who gave the woman 20 million pesos to get out of the squatters area. See, he, he paid 1500 for a cup of coffee that costs a dollar. But yeah, we got to get back to the unspoken agreement. That's about as level of a playing field as you're going to get over here. John did something that was pretty good. You know, he was giving his girlfriend 12,000 pesos a month. Now, that was it. You buy everything that you need out of that. Don't come back to me asking for nothing else, which was about right because with her education and her job experience already, that was a good job for her. That was a good job. That would be what a good job would pay her. A very good job would pay her. So I just wanted to talk about this today because we had another victim. Guy comes over here for three days to, to apply for the visa. Goes back, sends a woman 40000 per month. That's a lot of money. 70000 I would say that's more than a, a doctor just starting out over here. You don't have to do that. The smart thing to do would be to build the life around yourself, the life that you want over here, and then bring the woman along with you. And if you're going to do that, if you're going to bring the woman, if you're going to have a woman in your life, okay? I've been over here, man, for 14 years. I'm t I know what I'm talking about. It don't take as much as what you guys are spending. You're paying a hundred dollars for a cup of coffee that only costs a dollar. These women will be happy with that lifestyle upgrade. But hell, we're giving them everything in the kitchen sink. It doesn't make sense, guys. So rethink that plan. Let's put the pieces of the unspoken agreement back together, man. This is about as good as you're going to get it over here. Pay for play has been over here a long, long time. It's not going anywhere. But we're overpaying. That's what we're doing. We need to get back to that level playing field over here. And the only way we're going to do that is to stop spending a hundred dollars for a cup of coffee that costs a dollar. So thank y'all so much for stopping by again. I'm on, we're on our way to Elo Elo. Remember the meet and greet is Thursday, June 29th, three o'clock until at the Bourbon Street Bar and Grill on the festive walk in Elo Elo City. It's a beautiful place. Great food, great people, great conversation. Come on out, guys, if you want to meet some people, make some connections. Wherever you are in the world, there's always somebody worse off than you. Help them if you can. If you can't help them, don't make their life any worse than it already is. I say that because guys come over here and they do the exact same thing to some of these women. Let's don't put it on the women. I, this isn't even about the women today. This is about us. We're the ones spending. But some guys do the exact same thing. The, the exact opposite. I was watching a guy the other day. He's doing a video with his girlfriend. And I mean, they're basically living in the squatters area. I'm like, don't do that to yourself over here, guys. He's literally coming to the Philippines applying for food stamps. Uh-uh. Don't be a cheap Charlie like that. Have some more pride in yourself. I'm not talking about spending a hundred dollars on yourself if you want to do that. But don't do the opposite either. A lot of women over here, they're struggling. That's the only reason they're dealing with you. That's the only reason they're dealing with us. Don't fool yourself. Okay, and then we want to come over here and make their life even worse. Come on, guys. Think about that. Remember, the universe is watching. I'm in the Philippines. Now a day goes by, I don't help somebody. We're closing. I mean, we're approaching 50,000 subscribers. We're right at 
the door. We're getting ready to kick it in. I want to thank everybody who's come along with me for this ride, man. And when I get to 50,000 subscribers, I'm going to spin the wheel 50 times. If it's going to be five times a week for 10 weeks, 10 times for five weeks, two times for 25, who knows? I'm going to do it because I promised the Filipino people I was going to do it. When I get to 100,000, I'm going to spin it 100 times. We need to help somebody today, man, because if I don't know anything else, I know this one thing for sure. We help other people. We help ourselves. Take care. Stay safe. Stay out of trouble. I'll see you next time. Hey, and thank you guys. I'm, I think I'm at 166 now on the downloads. And I just had a, one of my stories, my new stories edited. And I'm going to release it, but I'm not going to release it until I release uh, part three of the setup, the final episode. So thank y'all for going on Amazon, downloading that. Take care, everybody.